Wrestling championships are just beautiful. You can see how much work and thought went into creating this magnificent... Just kidding. They're just a bunch of shitty looking M&Ms right now. Look, I don't hate this title. It looks clean but maybe that's the problem welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen today i want to talk about the wwe championship titles oh you didn't say belts ah, vibes. it's an interesting topic because i don't necessarily hate the way they look i just think it all looks the same and boring god i feel like the undertaker when i'm doing this whole back in the day thing but Back in the day, the championships had so much detail. They looked like a very expensive Iron Man, had this level of luxury. It felt like a champion is holding a prize worth millions. Imagine Bobby Lashley with the World Heavyweight Championship. He got women with the WWE title, but imagine Bobby Lashley with the Big Gold Championship. These championships felt priceless, while the new ones, well, they're just a corporate logo. It's boring. There's no character. It doesn't tell a story. It's just a belt with a WWE logo. Yes, this championship gets you sponsors, but this championship gets you pussy. See what I'm talking about? I feel weird about the WWE title. When complimenting this championship, people keep saying it looks clean. And it does. It's just a logo. That's it. There's nothing to love. There's nothing to hate, but it doesn't have that level of prestige, it doesn't have that level of grit. I guess nowadays people are just obsessed with the clean look. And I understand that sometimes less is more, but this is a championship, this title needs detail. The current WWE product already lacks grit. And these titles, you know, I cannot imagine these championships in the ruthless aggression era or attitude era. They're good looking belts. But they don't have that charisma, that craftsmanship, that basically let's lick that World Heavyweight Championship ass. This title is beautiful, man. Look at this championship. You can put that championship on any superstar and he immediately looks like a star. It's interesting how the new championships wouldn't even work on guys back in the day. Imagine the WWE Universal Championship on Stone Cold Steve Austin. He doesn't look like a champion. That's not how a champion looks like. It looks like he brought his kids cool project. You probably saw these pictures of current WWE stars with old school championships. Now tell me it doesn't look better. Tell me they don't look like legit stars. Tell me it doesn't look like they're holding million bucks right here. And yes, not only the World Heavyweight Championship, even the WWE title always looked really prestigious. Whether it's the Winged Eagle WWF title or the Attitude Era Championship or the Undisputed Championship, all of these championships made you look like a big deal. And when you see these championships on the new guys, for whatever reason, it just looks like, yeah, this is a champion. Now it's a champion. The Spinner Championship, well, I think it did look very expensive. It just didn't have that main event world heavyweight championship feel. But it looked creative, I'll give you that. I want to talk about the tag team championships in the WWE. So, Bret Hart introduced us to these helmet warrior championships and yeah, coins basically. I didn't hate them, but they're not even close to the championships we had before. And now they're colorful. It's blue and red, guys. Like, Mark is not a genius, ladies and gentlemen. Believe it or not, I'm actually not a genius. But he does need a reminder that this championship is from Raw and this championship is from SmackDown. You don't need that shit. How did we go from this to this. Sure, many people are saying these are the best looking WWE Tag Team Championships. And I get it, they look pretty cool. In my opinion, these are the best looking WWE Tag Team titles. Could be nostalgia, not sure. But while these look absolutely amazing, the World Tag Team Championships just had something, man. If these are not the most beautiful Tag Team Championships we ever had in professional wrestling, I don't know what to tell you. The main difference I see from championship titles right now is like when you take these Tag Team Championships and other good looking Tag Team Championships like NXT Tag Team Championships, for example, yes, they look good, but they have that modern feel and for me, a championship shouldn't look modern or new. It's about tradition. It's about people working their asses off years ago to get that championship. And now you hold this prestigious championship that has a lot of detail. It looks old as fuck. Yes! That's 
what I'm talking about. Hopefully you get the point. The new championships have this future feel and I don't really like it. But I can't tolerate the NXT World Championships. I'm not the biggest fan of the giant NXT logo, but at least they follow the tradition, you know, it still looks like the OG World Heavyweight Championship in a way. And to be fair, NXT is kind of for new guys, so I don't really mind it that much. What they did to the Intercontinental Championship is a f***ing crime, ladies and gentlemen. I tried. I tried to love this champ- I tried to tolerate this championship. I tried to fall in love with it for years now. And people, you know what? I still miss the OG Intercontinental Championship. I can't forget the belt, people. I can't forget it. Man, this championship is like the pinnacle of mid-card championships. It's beautiful. It has history. You see that championship on the new guys. You remember all the great matches every other superstar had back in the day to put this belt on the map. The championship is just freaking sexy, man. You look at this championship and you see the history of professional wrestling. Even the older championship looked pretty awesome. Maybe it's just because I grew up watching that title, but I still thought it looked beautiful. It didn't look as prestigious, but it had a lot of detail and, you know, it told a story, basically. And now, now we have this. What the f***? Why? It looks like this championship should be a lot bigger than it actually is. It has no color whatsoever. It's all golden and not in a good way. You can't tell what's happening right here, it looks like a cruiserweight championship. You know what, it looks like a tag team championship, like I could tolerate these kind of tag team championships. I've seen a custom one and it does look better, it kind of reminds me of the, you know, OG Intercontinental Championship, but people, it's not even close. It is not even close. Just watching Sami Zayn giving the new championship to Shinsuke Nakamura, ah. There is a clear difference between the championships. People, I know some of you will say that I'm being biased because these are the championships I grew up with. But just take a look at these pictures, take a look at these champions. You feel it. These titles had something. They had personality. And the new one is just... It's a prop. I absolutely hate it. Like I've said at first, I didn't know how I feel about this championship. But the more I think about it... It's not the Intercontinental title. To end this video, I've got some praise. The WWE United States Championship looks really, really good right now. Look, I didn't hate the OG United States Championship. Uh, many people hated it because it's just a flag. I didn't mind it. I think it did have personality, obviously. It's also funny how we all hate this championship because it looks too new. But that's basically how every championship in the WWE looks right now. <laughs> but the new one, oh my god. It really looks like the OG WCW United States Championship. And it's a good way to do modern WWE championships, but still giving you that classic historic feel to it. We have an eagle. We have the stars. It is a beautiful WWE championship. I have no complaints, honestly. Interesting side note, you know, back in the day in video games, I always used to choose the Intercontinental Championship, while whether it's playing universe mode, career mode, whatever it may be. But now, the relationship with the Intercontinental Championship has ended. United States Championship is my best friend now. And it's kind of a proof that, yes, WWE are still capable of making great looking WWE Championships. They just don't want to. Because it's a title that they can, you know, give to football players and promote WWE. It's a big WWE logo, you won't miss it. And again, I don't hate the championship. I just don't have any feelings towards it. What we learned in 2022 is that WWE really need to work on their championship titles and their WWE music because it's getting worse and people don't realize how important this is, whether to getting people over or just, you know, presentation in general. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Maybe you completely disagree. And, you know, I know it's a silly thing to complain about. It's not like I'm crazy about it, but, you know, I think it's... A bit of a bigger deal than you think. All the modern championships, all the LID lights, more LID lights, more... I'm sick of this shit, man. I need some grit in professional wrestling. It's about people fighting. We need that back. The great one, peace, love, and hugs. It's been a pleasure.